Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I am so excited to draw with y'all. So thank you so much for showing up. Today's drawing has a lot of pieces to it. So you'll need to stick close to what I'm drawing, but also if you do that, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun because today we are drawing a fire truck. And not only are we gonna draw a fire truck, but we're gonna learn a lot of cool things about it, including the fact that was brand new to me that I just found out is that a fire truck and a fire engine are two very different things. And I didn't know that. So today we're gonna be drawing a fire truck, but before we do that, let's make sure we have all of our tools and we are ready to get drawing. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're also gonna need a pencil for sketching, which also means you're gonna need an eraser of some type because we're gonna erase some of that loose sketch when we do our outline with a dark marker or a pen. I have a Sharpie here, but you can use something just dark to go over that pencil and then we can erase all the pencil marks. And at the very, very end, we're gonna do some coloring, which is gonna be fun. So make sure you have a red available for our fire truck. Uh, I'm using a bunch of markers here. You can use crayons, color pencils, paints, whatever you choose to use. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our sketch. We always start with a sketch so we can kind of get an idea of where everything's going to be. You can be really loose. You don't have to make all your final decisions right away. So right now, I wanna kind of figure out how to fit this fire truck on my sheet of paper. Uh, especially since I want to put a big ladder on top of mine. So I'm going to start with a very, very loose, if you have a ruler, you can do that, uh, rectangle. So I'm going to kind of start with doing a line straight down here. I'm doing a line straight across here. I assume that's straight. I'm trying. <laughs> and then we'll do another one right here. And then we'll do one more right here to finish our rectangle. Big, long, squished out square. All right, so notice how this was done very, very lightly. I'm not pushing very hard down on my pencil because I wanna be able to erase it. And if you push too hard, you'll leave indents and then you can't erase it as well or you'll still see some of it. Okay, so now that we have our shape, let's put our wheels on so that we kinda of have an idea <laughs> of, uh, of where those are going to be. I think those are really important parts of our fire truck here. So I'm gonna draw a wheel maybe right around here, just draw a circle. And I draw another circle right next to it. It's usually carrying a lot of weight, so they're gonna need lots of tires on here to, to hold up all that weight. And then we're gonna do one more right over here. So just try to maybe center your tire somewhat with the, uh, the line there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And if you have something like a, a cap or something that you wanna, it's a circle that you can trace around, Go ahead and do that, that might help you out. All right, we've got our wheels on. All right, so now I'm noticing something that I need to change because I want there to be a ladder going up here. So I think this needs to actually be down a little bit lower because this is gonna be the highest point of our truck, probably right about here. So I can do that really quick. Luckily I didn't draw too hard on my paper so I can erase that. So I'm gonna go and just erase the top bit right there. And this is why we sketch. <laughs> Any mistakes you make, you can take care of right now. Okay, so now we should probably section off all the different parts of this truck because they have a lot going on in these trucks. Now, all these trucks are kind of different. There's lots of different types. So some just hold water, just, some just hold ladders, some hold lots of different tools, some just have the, the hoses that connect straight to the, uh, straight to the water source, like a fire hydrant. And that would actually be a fire engine, the ones that are fighting the fires. The ones that are more just carrying the tools or helping do the rescuing, that's the fire truck, if that makes sense. So we're gonna be drawing a fire truck because I wanna draw a big ladder right on the top of our, our truck here. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So we're gonna start dividing it up. This is gonna be where they're gonna be driving. This is gonna have some of their gauges and things. And then we're gonna have the ladder so let's draw maybe a line right about right about here, straight down. Right about there. Go down, and then we're gonna go just do a little line over here. Just to get the different pieces in here. Now it doesn't look like it's much right now, but there's gonna be all the right parts on our truck. <clears throat> okay, take that. I didn't like how I said that. Now it doesn't look like much now, but we're slowly building our fire truck. So bear with me here. Okay, here we're gonna draw kind of a, a diagonal line right into this little corner right here. So draw a diagonal line. And then we're gonna draw another line right about here, going straight up. 
and then this is going to come forward. And maybe that goes forward a little bit more. I'm not sure. <laughs> Haven't quite decided. But I'm going to erase all that stuff in the middle because I'm not going to need this. And this is going to be the, the point where it's going to hold on to that ladder. So we're going to have the ladder go up. Let me we can start at this bit right here. And we can have a little ladder going kind of diagonally up. Like it's going to go up to the top of a building and go save people. Did you know that the tallest ladder on a fire truck is like 300 feet? 300 feet. That's as tall as the Statue of Liberty. That blew me away. That I mean, not all of them are like that, but it also just depends on where you're at. Now I'm going to draw real quick. I'm going to draw a, a little box here, and this is going to be where the uh, firefighter would stand. And then this thing would lift up and go and it would extend longer, 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 longer. And it would go up to, and this would reach up so that it could get people high up in buildings. Or they could use the hose really high up and try to spray, like take out the fire or go save people, which is pretty cool. You have to create these awesome machines to help us. And so there, I was trying to look up how to do this, how to draw a fire truck. And I learned a whole lot about them, but I also realized that there are so many different kinds. You can't just look up one kind of fire truck because there's so many different kinds to, so it's hard to kind of, I had to kind of make up my own is what I'm getting at. I had to make up my own fire truck, but that's okay. You can make up your own too. <laughs> it can be a hybrid. That means it's kind of a mix of two different types. Maybe a fire engine and a fire truck, which mine, I might do that. I might add some hoses on here. I think it'd be kind of fun. So now I'm just doubling up these lines right here. Because I'm going to have these be like, uh, it's gonna, you'll see, it's going to be kind of like a crisscross pattern right here. It's going to be holding that up, all that piping holding up that person and that ladder. There we go. Now they're really, really strong. And if you want right now, you can do the same thing where you kind of, I'm just going to kind of double them up because I want them to be thicker. So I'm going to go through and do that. Um, but I'll do that. I'll finish that up at a different time. I just want to make sure I have everything right here, which I like where this is at. But you know that some of those, those ladders when they go up, they can actually withstand winds of like 50 miles per hour. That's really, really fast. They're that strong. They have little things that come out and hold onto the ground so this thing doesn't tip, which is really neat. Okay, I might add a little bit more on the back because I feel like that needs to be a little bit bigger. There might be a person in the back here helping work this. So I'm gonna move that back over there and give them a little space. Give them a little bit of space. And maybe maybe they need a ladder to get up there. How about that? Maybe there's a little ladder to climb up there because these are big vehicles. Really, really big. Let's do that. Let's try a ladder on there so they can climb on up <laughs> and get into the fire truck. All right, now let's see. Let's make sure we erase this little line right here because we don't want to... We're going to make sure we erase some of the lines that we're not going to use because if, we'll, if you're going to get to this point where you start outlining, you might forget and you might draw on it and then you're going to kick yourself because you're going to be like, darn it, I didn't mean to color in that line. So make sure to erase as you go. Like these guys right here. We don't want those. Don't want those. All right, so this is good. We got our wheels. We kind of got everything in section. Now we got a little bucket for the firemen to go up there and help people. Now I'm just realizing I was probably calling that a ladder the whole time. This one isn't a ladder. There are ones that have ladders that go out and extend. And that's what I was referencing when I was saying that there's, they go up to like 300 feet, the height of the Statue of Liberty. Um, that's a ladder. This one's kind of more of like a lift and you can kind of sit in this little bucket and it'll lift you up there, which is pretty cool too. But like I said, they're all kind of different. Now I'm going to do a little line right here. I'm going to start separating these, these bits right here. So I'm going to erase this little line. I'm going to go down just a step, just to separate the part where the people drive. And then I might even go down one more right about here. I'm going to erase all of this bit too. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to say I keep adding little little details. So I'm going to round this edge, add another line right about here. We'll add some little bars. This is just the fun detail stuff. Now this is stuff I kind of had to make up because I'm just going to copy the same lines in a little bit further. Because you know, there's so many different types, like I said, it's kind of hard to reference just one of them. So we're going to kind of have to make up what our fire truck looks like because unless you're looking at a picture of one specific one, there's lots of different things that could happen on these. There's lots of different um, tools or ways or ladders or 
all sorts of things. So you can pick whatever you want to do. Um, this is just kind of how I'm, I'm choosing to do it, which I think will be kind of fun if you want to follow along. So now I have, let's start adding some more little, little details. Maybe we'll add a little bit right here just so it looks sturdy, right? We're going to make this and put a big bolt there like it's holding our ladder in place. That's fun. Okay, now I'm gonna go and add maybe this little piece right here. So this is a fire truck, like I said, so it's gonna have more of your tools in it. Uh, less of the, uh, they're not the ones plugging this into a fire hydrant, which by the way, you see those all over the road. That's where you're getting all of your water. It's coming from the city water. So they can plug their hoses in there and they have an endless amount of water to help save people. And sometimes they're not using water, sometimes they're using foam which I didn't know about that. They use a foam, which is actually nice because it's lighter for especially because these hoses are really heavy for firefighters to have to lift. So this doesn't really matter. This little bit right here that I'm doing, you can make up whatever you want. I'm going to do some gauges. I think it might be kind of fun to have some like pressure gauges for like the hose or maybe there's some buttons over here for how to lift this thing up. <laughs> This is where you get to have a lot of fun. This is why I was saying there's lots of little pieces, but you can make them up however you want. I'm gonna have some more like little plugins for hoses maybe. Little buttons. I'm not really sure what all of these do, but that's okay because we're using our imagination. You know one thing that I wondered? Okay, before I do that, there's a little uh, hose right here I might add. Not the main hose, but just a little extra hose, maybe if they need it. I'm gonna kind of draw overlapping that last bit so you can see that it's a hose all rolled up. And then maybe we'll go like this. It kind of has a funky little head on it to make it so it's really easy and quick to attach to the water source. Awesome, fun, okay. That'll look cool. All right, so I'm gonna keep adding a few little more details. You just wanna follow along. I wanna tell you something very, very interesting about fire trucks because I was always, or actually not more fire trucks, but something fire, firemen or fire truck themed is Dalmatians. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's, whenever you do, people draw firemen or firefighters, uh, they always draw a Dalmatian with them. And that's a kind of dog. It's like a white dog with black spots. Or is it a black dog with white spots? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but it's that spotted dog that you always see, black and white dog, you always see around firefighters. And I was wondering, why, what is that? Are they just, I guess I wondered why. Why do they have those? Why, why does that have to be associated with the firefighter? And the answer is before the firefighters um, or the fire trucks had big old engines in them, and they were gas powered, they actually were driven by horses. They were pulled by horses. And in order to kind of clear the path ahead, they had dogs or Dalmatians specifically that would run ahead and the horses would follow them. And the dogs would kind of clear the path for the horses so they could get to the fire faster. So that's what Dalmatians had to do. It's not necessarily that they're like great firefighting dogs, but they did work really well with the horses, which was important back then. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, that's just a little fun little history fact that I found very, very interesting because I always was curious. Why do they have Dalmatians? All right, so these are all little details that we're adding in here. I think I'm going to add the, the windows here. So I'll add just a little, another rectangle. Now I might be moving fast and I apologize if I'm moving too fast for you. All you have to do is pause it and you can catch up or um, just let me go through it and then you can go back and rewind it again or whatever you want to do. Don't feel rushed because I'm going fast. I want to make sure I can get you everything in, in this episode without taking a couple hours to do it. Because it looks like I'm doing it fast in here, but it's because I've drawn it before. I really plan out, want to make sure that I have something that's really fun to draw so I kind of practice it beforehand. And that's why I can draw it so fast. Also, I practice because I draw a whole lot. <laughs> so that makes it so I can be faster. And if you want to get faster at drawing, you just have to keep drawing. That's the secret. Just keep drawing. Oh, we need a little light on the top, huh? We need a little, little light or a siren here. 
that goes off so everybody around knows. Fire trucks are really loud, aren't they? <laughs> They're really loud. We actually have one right outside of my studio here. We actually have a fire uh, fire station. And uh, every once in a while you'll hear one go off and they're really, really loud. We'll make sure everybody knows to get out of the way so they can get to their fire and they can go save people. Now inside, maybe we draw, we're not gonna do a whole lot of detail on the inside. If you wanna draw a person, a firefighter right there, maybe she could be sitting there and waving or something like that, that'd be kind of fun. But go ahead and draw uh, maybe like a little seat in there at least. Maybe we'll draw a little bit, just a, just a silhouette. That's just like, the shape of it, just the shapes of it. There you go, we got a steering wheel right there. And I think that's that's good enough for now. All right, let's add maybe the big stripe on the side of our our truck. Give it some, give it a cool paint job here. We'll kind of go like that. In between here, we'll kind of go up at a diagonal and we'll go back and go straight there. Now yours can look like any anything you want. You can draw that <laughs> however you want. I think that'll just be kind of a fun look on my on my truck. And then maybe I'll keep that line right here. We'll just keep it going right all the way up to here to the front. Maybe a little bit lower. There we are. Oops. I'll fix that up a little bit. I got a little messy. Finish that line right there. Maybe I go straight down there. Oh boy, we're getting close. All right, so let's draw the inside of our tires maybe. So I wanna draw, I need to draw another line right here for the, the wheel well. That's where the tire lives, it lives inside of that. So we're gonna kinda copy what we're doing here and that's gonna be, and then draw another line maybe right in within it, like that. That's gonna be our wheel well. And then the wheels themselves are gonna kind of fit right in there. They have to be a little bit smaller so that they fit inside those. So again, we'll draw this like that. And then for example, I'm gonna erase all this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I wanna make sure you can see, cause it's kind of getting messy. That's kind of, that's one of a, one of the things I have to do if I'm drawing a lot, I start getting a little messy in my sketch and I can't tell what's going on. That's when I need to stop and erase some stuff. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> All right, so those circles help me draw the wheel well. That's where the wheel lives. And you got these little fenders here, whatever, to, to kind of put the wheels in and to protect the, the truck here. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a little bit inside there a little bit smaller and I'm going to try my best to get that into a circle shape again if you have if you have something that can help you draw a circle that's always the best then you can get a nice perfect circle there but I'm just going to do it by hand and you're going to tell how bad I am at drawing these by hand <laughs> it's all right because in the middle of here, we're going to make it got pretty thick tires. So draw that the little um, wheel a little bit smaller here. And then maybe we'll draw another smaller one inside and some little nuts on there to hold on to keep our tire on there. And we'll do the last one right over here. I'm not very good at drawing these circles. Maybe you're better at drawing circles than I am. And we'll draw some little things on there. And awesome. Okay, not the prettiest tires, but we'll fix that up with our pen at the very end. So other little fine details I'm gonna add in here. You know, again, like I keep saying, these trucks, they're just different depending on where they're at or what kind of fires they're fighting or you know where they're fighting the fires. Now, if it's in a big city and there's lots of really high buildings, what do you think they're gonna have on them? What do you think is the most important thing for a fire truck? That's right, a giant ladder, right? They need to be able to reach really, really high up. So those kind of trucks are gonna have massive ladders on them. But what if you live out in the country and you don't have a lot of high buildings and it's just houses? You probably won't need a fire truck with a big ladder. So you'll probably have more with 
maybe even, and maybe if you're out in the country, you might not have access to the water as easily. So like a fire hydrant. So you might have to have a big tanker that comes around and has water in it that brings up water to you. So lots of different reasons why they build different fire, fire trucks. So think of what you want on yours. Maybe you can add a few things. Maybe you can add some tools here. Maybe yours doesn't have all of this and it's something completely different. And maybe yours is a, you know, maybe yours has more like shovels and tools on the outside, which would be really fun too. Or maybe this is just a ladder or whatever you want is what I'm saying. You can make this to whatever kind of fire truck you want. All right, so I think I'm getting close. I'm gonna add like a little bumper on here. These aren't really important things, but they are fun little details to add to my, my fire truck. And I think I think that's good. I think I'm gonna stop there. And what I'm gonna do next is go through, and now I've pretty much erased all of the bits that I'm not wanting to keep, for the most part, on here, on my sketch. And then I'm just gonna start drawing my final line work. So take it slow if you need to, uh, to make sure you kinda of don't, you know, cross into anything and, and go too far on, uh, on some of your lines. But uh, just take it really slow and go through and work your way through your entire drawing. And uh, it's actually really nice and satisfying going through and drawing your outlines because it cleans everything up. And then at the very end of that, you just go through and erase all of the pencil mark underneath. I'm telling you this because I think you should do that on your own. And I'm going to go ahead and do mine on my own so that you have some time to go ahead and uh, catch up on the drawing. And then after this, I'm going to do some coloring, which is going to be a whole lot of fun. And uh, you can do that in whatever colors you want. And then we'll meet up right at the very end. All right? Does that sound good? Awesome. Okay. Our fire truck is finished, all colored in, outlined, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So hopefully you're happy with how your fire truck turned out. Did I say fire engine? Fire truck. We know the difference now. <laughs> the fire truck carries all the tools, more the utility type vehicle. But uh, this was a whole lot of fun. It's always fun drawing with you. And thank you. Actually, one of you, I think, were requested that we drew a fire truck. So thank you for doing that. And if you have a request of your own that you want to draw, please let me know. You can email me or direct message me on Instagram at Brave Kids Art Club. You can go on there. Or if you drew something and you want me to see it because you did such an amazing job on it, just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club. So thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. Before we leave, we also need to sign our work. We need to sign our work, make sure everybody knows that we are proud of what we made. And one other thing too, this isn't perfect, right? I, my wheels, I was not super excited about how my wheels turned out, to be honest. But another thing that I like to do is I like to point out one part in all my drawings that I absolutely love. And it could be the tiniest little part or the color or something small, but it's always nice to find that one piece in your drawing that you just really, really love. And it helps you kind of forget about all the other mistakes because you did that thing just so well. And on this one, I think even though it's so teeny tiny and not even that important, but I love that you can see kind of the steering wheel and the seat in there. That sounds maybe silly, but I do like how that turned out and it helps me really kind of forgive some of the other mistakes on there that happened because, you know, we drew it by hand and it's okay to make mistakes on here. Alrighty, before you go, remember, be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>